lab number 77. In this lab we will add to our uh, hybrid messenger quality assurance capabilities using mobile quality assurance product. We will use Bluemix version of that product. So first of all, let's open the browser and uh, navigate into our Bluemix console. So you need to log in in case you're uh, not logged in automatically. And once you will get inside, let's go to uh, catalog. And from that, let's filter, filter to mobile only services and select mobile quality assurance. So now we can create this service. and uh, add the first application. So let's define the application name as hybrid uh, messenger and the platform will be only Android, we don't need iOS. Okay, so here we have. Uh, so what we need from here is this application key that we will use later on to establish the session for mobile quality assurance. And for now, we will open one more tab and type knowledge uh, center mobile quality assurance. So we needed documentation for a Bluemix based version. So uh, you can see that version currently available is 6.0 and uh, basically the first thing that we will need to do is to install the JavaScript SDK for our mobile quality assurance and uh, we will be doing that not for a version that goes and says for mobile first platform foundation because that one is designed to use Eclipse based uh, approach and we will be using uh, the installation pass for Cordova applications. So uh, first of all just click on installing and from that uh, click on the link device SDKs. So we will uh, on that page download the SDK for uh, Apache Cordova and as you can see it start downloading. So it may be quite fast if you have uh, quite fast the internet speed. If it's not so fast for you, uh, then just wait until it will finish. For me, as you can see, it will take uh, approximately 20 more seconds. So while it's downloading, the next step that we will do is uh, when it will be downloaded, we will unpack it to current folder and then uh, just use uh, Cordova plugin add and point it to this folder. So now we can unzip this uh, plug into something like, well, let's call it MQA folder. And next step will be installation. So you need to navigate to workspaces, HM, uh, hybrid messenger, and then just type Cordova plugin ads and this location. So downloads MQA. So that's it, the plugin is installed for Android now. Uh, so what we can do from here is to open our text editor, navigate inside index.html. And you remember we were caching this uh, WL common init event. So this will be a place where we will actually start a session for uh, mobile quality assurance. And we will do that uh, by going back to documentation and then going to starting Cordova session page. So we will need to copy this code from MQA start session and pass it here. So uh, what we don't need is iOS. Uh, this part can be removed. 
and we need to replace this app key for Android. So uh, that can be taken from our dashboard. So this is the app key that we need to pass. And just like that. Now we can save this index file. And next step will be to do a Cordova build Android. That's it. And next step will be to launch our emulator and then to uh, launch application on emulator. That's it. So now let's type Cordova emulate Android to launch that app um, in this emulator. Okay, so we are seeing our application launch. Uh, let's provide any kind of email, so I will provide mine. Okay, so because this is the first start and I actually entered the correct email that exists in, in Bluemix, uh, MK service registry, so it actually explains me how to use it. So, uh, as you can see, I can add a new report, I can add a feedback, um, I can take a screenshots and so on. Uh, but let's first start uh, with logging inside our application. Okay, so we have a data insight. Now I can open the taskbar and tap to report a problem or give feedback. This sign won't be always here, it depends on the mode that we select. Uh, so I selected the QA mode, that's why it's here. So once I'm tapping on it, as you can see, I can report a bug or give a feedback. So let's try to report a bug. Okay, so as you can see, I'm able uh, to take a screenshot right here. And once I'm clicking on that screenshot, I'm able to annotate it. Uh, for example, I can draw on, on the screenshot, uh, and then say something and so on. I have a different ways of drawing, so it can be blur. I, for example, can remove the name so nobody will see it. Uh, something like that. So uh, let me say um, some kind of title here, like distance seems to uh, be wrong, for example. Uh, what else? Uh, severity, let's have a high severity of this issue. As you can see, everything else is optional. I can actually uh, define if I want to upload only on Wi-Fi this report or anytime. And I can send this uh, report to MQA. 
So basically that's it. On this step it means that report is already there. So uh, now we can take a look on the console. So just click uh, on the box or click on upload build. So it may be an issue like you have a pop-up blocked um, on top. So somewhere here, so you just need to select that you allow pop-ups and, and so on, and you will see the result. So actually we inside the console. Uh, from the dashboard, you will be able to see uh, all the things that are happening. So for today, only two sessions, uh, one bug report. The so second session was while I was testing offline. Um, so uh, you can see the screenshot that was provided, but of course, much more interest uh, is coming when you're going into details. So when you're going into details, you're seeing the screen size, battery level, and so on. And also you're able to display uh, full uh, session details with initial conditions like uh, location information, network stuff. Of course, we have emulators, so now it's not that useful, but in real time, it's much more interesting. Screen size, power, a lot of information about system, uh, memory available, and, and so on telephony data, different conditions, uh, then you're seeing the bug itself um, and uh, basically uh, what is happening is that uh, while application is working you're able to see what is changing so you're able to follow all the sessions uh, changes for example if the orientation will be changed or something like that you will notice that. Together with that you can uh, upload the different versions of your app and distribute it, so like builds, and uh, then the user will get an email uh, that will allow him to click on the link and install this application on his device. You can do a lot more, like user sentiment analysis to understand what people are saying about your app in the marketplace, or uh, something like, uh, for example, gather crash reports and display them here, the same as you can do. Uh, with mobile first platform analytics and so on but we did uh, our main main job we were able to submit a bug report uh, and this was done by adding mobile quality assurance uh, to our mobile application so on this step our lab is finished thank you